Oh, that's really close. I'm in that shiny. <sighs> hey, bitch, it's Kate, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So, today, this is the first official video of 2021. Things have been crazy. I was focusing on more content in the beginning week, and then I started back working last week. So, now is the official, official new video of 2021 on hey Base it's k anyway i know you guys see me and i look like a hot mess that's fine by the end of this video i'm gonna look like a baddie somebody requested that i do my everyday makeup routine and i'm leaving the house so i decided why not do it now but instead of it just being a makeup video i decided why not ask you guys to ask me some questions so in between this whole video I'm going to be answering your questions that you asked me. I think we could start getting into this video. Let's get into this video. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. So, first thing first, what I do every day when I'm doing my makeup is I put on my Fenty Beauty primer the soft silk one I have a new one I think is the mattifying one but this is the soft silk one that I use every day well since 2019 and to me you don't need a lot you just need to make sure that the foundation is tacky enough and I do it in my t-zone the parts that shine the most and my under eye right and then I just leave it to dry a while but while we leave that to dry let's answer our first question shall we first question is uh, how much persons do you have I have um, my first hole my second hole is pierced both and I have this person that you guys saw me take that I totally regret. But that's all the persons that I have. And I do not think I'm getting another one at all. Let's get into our makeup now because it's basically already dried. Okay, lighting is much better. I decided to open the door. What I start off with is always my brows. And for my brows, I use my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Let me see. I use that. I've been using it since 20, I think, 17. And I haven't changed it so far. When this runs out, I normally am a wreck. I don't know what to do with myself. But... Uh, I have a tutorial on how to do my brows, so if you guys want to see how to do that, it's there in my video. I'll link it right here. It will be up here. But for now, I'm just going to skip forward to that part when my brows are completed. Before concealer, that is. So I know my brows look like a hot mess right now, but this is how my brows look. This is how my brows look before concealer. The reason being is because I have not done my brows since end of October. Believe it or not. Living in England, I have gotten accustomed to working with my bushy eyebrows. So therefore, I kind of just go with it. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm gonna go into concealer. But while I do that, we're gonna ask the next question. So the next question is, how was it like in high school? Before I go into story time, we're just gonna say what we use for my concealer. So for my brows at least, well, my everyday concealer because I have special concealer if I want to do a photo shoot or so on. But for my everyday concealer, I use this LA God Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. So we're going to use that while we answer, how was it like in high school? Ah, uh, how do I begin? High school was some interesting years for me. Um, from Form 1, I was in guides to Form 4, so I had a very busy schedule, plus I was dancing and modeling, but guides made my high school experience much better, like totally much better. I'm going to just brush right here, and I'm going to outline my brows. 
guides me in my high school experience much better with Mrs. Dorisha John. Shout out to number 11, we don't exist anymore, but whoever got to experience that, you know. High school for me, overall, in regards to anything outside of guides, was still pretty fun. I don't know, I feel like this is like it's whole other vid a whole other video for itself, like my experience in high school. But I think you guys, like in a nutshell, should know that high school was interesting. Very interesting. When I went to college, it was such a downgrade from high school. And I just felt like some part of me was missing. But high school was definitely a walk to remember. <laughs> that I don't know if I would relive again, but I'm thankful for the experiences that I did have in high school. So I'm going to finish up this concealer because I can't speak and do it. <laughs> I'm going to finish it up and then come back. So my brows are done. It's not the best if you look up close, but it's doable. The next question is, what's your age? I am 22, gonna be 23 this year. When my brows are done, what I do is I contour my eyes in the most natural way possible. So as you can see, the concealer is giving you a flat face. So what I do is I use my contour from Tarte. Hotel Aries, by the way, it's hitting pan. Like, for a good while now. And, uh, I really want a new one. But what I use is this brush. This blending brush. I use this. Gather some contour. And I start from the outer and blend in. In my crease. I don't double dip because what I want to do is I want to blend everything that's right here. Inwards. And upwards when you're doing makeup the most important part is always blending look at that just blend it upwards and inwards and then I repeat the same thing on this eye ouch and that's my eyes complete after we contour, we're gonna answer another question. And the next question is, how tall are you? I am five foot three. I'm very short. And a lot of people tell me I look shorter in real life. I mean, I'm not trying to look taller. Pictures just make you look taller. But I'm very short, I'm very petite. So yeah. So after the eyes are done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do concealer. For my everyday look, I never wear foundation. I only wear foundation for photo shoots or if I'm doing looks. Only time I wear foundation. But for my everyday look, I only use concealer and I go back in with the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in warm honey. So what I do for concealer is get some out. In my corner where it's darkest, I make some dots. Do you wanna see up close? In my corner where it's darkest, I make some dots. Then I make some go into the outer and drag everything down. Do not squeeze anymore. Just drag everything off. And then for the like if I have any pimples like this one right there, I just cover it up. Do the same on the next side. And then the same if you have any blemishes that you want to cover like this cover them and that's it for this and then I blend it in when blending though I have to wet the sponge so I'm gonna be right back make sure the sponge is damp not wet so squeeze out any excess water that you have in the sponge with tissue and you blend it pat when you blend in don't drag as you can see it's blending out and looking flawless. I blend it on my nose because I don't want too much foundation. Too, huh? I don't want too much concealer when I'm having my everyday makeup. So I blend, blend it out into the side of my hair. And then I do it the same on the next side. As you can see, all of my dark circles are disappearing. Which is what we want. We want to look like if we are not lacking sleep. And we get our eight hours every night. Which we don't. 
But you know. Blend it up. Blend it up. Blend it up. After we finish blending the concealer, what we're gonna do is just take any excess we have and conceal the nose and drag it up to our shiny forehead. And as you can see, that's my concealer completed. And then take another sponge, my translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Gonna take that and set our concealer. Oh, that's a lot. But that's fine, because we're gonna dust it off. This is to ensure that your makeup doesn't go anywhere throughout the day. Which, my makeup goes through a lot. So I would say that this definitely works. So while we're baking, we're gonna answer another question. Who is your favorite Jamaican artist? Okay, so... Hmm... I don't know, this is a tough one. Um, right now, definitely have to be Shenshia because... Because, I mean... You know. But growing up, it was always um, Cartel. I don't know all the songs word for word, but if I'm supposed to hear it, I would know it. So I would have to say a toss up between Shenshia right now because I mean, <laughs> Batty or Cartel that I've known for like years. While this is baking, what we're gonna do is we're gonna contour our face. Taking our same contour, the Tarte Hotel Heiress. We are gonna contour like hair. Okay. Bring back some color into our face. And then we take whatever excess is on the brush. Blend it all over our face. Just bring back some color. We're gonna take our same blending brush from earlier that I blended my eyes with. Do not dab anymore contour on it we're gonna take it and we're gonna contour our nose all our nose has seen is concealer and setting powder i think before we take off our setting powder i think now would be a good time for another question the next question is uh, do you plan on leaving SVG in the future yes and no i love st vincent and i feel like it's the less chaotic of everywhere else I've been <laughs> but uh, yes because Vincent is really fight though and like I try to make better for myself and everybody else that I know so yes even if I have to leave for a while and then come back like that's fine with me but it's kind of very unsure right now we're gonna take this brush it's a fluffy brush not that fluffy but I feel like I have more control with it and we're gonna remove all of what we're setting. And then we just take the brush again, the contour brush. Just bring back in any color to our face. There's no excess product on it. I mean, there's no added product to it. Just the excess product that would be on it already. Then we move on to blush. I'm gonna be taking my lip blush from L'Oreal. But I find it works really well. So I don't know if they still have it. It's rosewood blush. Rosewood blush. I'm gonna take some on this fluffy brush. I'm gonna add some color. Even on our nose. Now, I hated blush, right? But then I started liking it. And I just can't get enough of it now. But like, it was something I was like, oh, I don't think blush suits me but i think it's just how persons just to put it on on me when they do my makeup okay now it's the perfect time for another question the next question is what's your favorite outfit since 2021 has started i think my favorite outfit since 2021 has started i don't know let me but my favorite outfit since 2021 has started would definitely have to be my corset top from fashion nova 
and my fashion over jeans when I did that shoe with Rihanna. Definitely have to be that one. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on mascara, as you can see. I don't have any lashes whatsoever. So, we need mascara. I started doing my mascara and forgot that I supposed to tell you guys what kind of mascara I use. So, to start off, I use my Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. <laughs> I use that to start off and give it a base. Especially if I'm just gonna do lashes on top because ain't nobody had time to be fighting up with trying to get your lashes long if you use them for lashes. And then I use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I need to restock on this. I love this. Like, love, love, love this. I need to restock on this and then I add a top coat to my top layer. So, well, my top lash. Then you go from that to this. I mean, it's not no big change, but it's a big change for me. <laughs> so, with that, yeah, like this hairstyle. Like, I plait my hair and after I twisted it, I stole it from Jamelia. Like, she did it last year. But I stole it from Jamelia. And I, I, like, I love it because it makes me feel still dolled up, but, you know, very protective still. You have the option to leave it like this or add your lashes. So I'm going to add some lashes. But before we add our lashes, can we answer another question? How did you start modeling? So when I was, I think I mentioned this already before, but just for persons who are new. When I was seven, I think, I told my mom that I wanted to do dance and I'm modeling. Um, the dancing part was very easy. She enrolled me into a dance company that I do not want to be associated with and I don't want to say the name. But uh, she enrolled me into that dance company when I was seven years old, I think. And uh, that was like a year before I joined our best, the one that I'm with now that everybody knows I'm with. And when I was eight, she convinced Ansala's mom who y'all know in Salo, all of you love in Salo. She convinced Anne Salo's mom that she should restart her modeling agency, which name was Miji. So I grew up on modeling because of Anne Salo's mom, and that's how I met Anne Salo. And the rest is history. I think because, like, we're finishing up, we just need our lashes and our highlight. Highlight, oh my gosh. I haven't been using highlight a lot lately, I don't know why keep forgetting it but I think we can answer another question so the next question is have you always been a gamer so I grew up on Mortal Kombat and uh, like the free sims like free sims play on my my tablet and so on I like games like basic games like tap tap revolution you know those kind of games you should play on your iPad and so on I like games. I like. I'm not really into games like Call of Duty and all those stuff, but like The Walking Dead and what's not. I'm very into horror and zombie and all those stuff, so like I find those games interesting. Sporting games, not really me, but I have been known to play FIFA and so on. Growing up, I had uncles on my dad's side, and then my dad was like a football player and what's not, so. I have been able to dabble in quite a few games, not gonna lie, but I'm not really a gamer gamer, I just like girly games and so on, and I just wanted to share experiences on my next channel, so go follow me there. Okay, so my battery died, but I'm back. I'm gonna use my most natural lashes when I'm doing my everyday makeup look, if I decide to wear lashes, I use these premium lashes named Katie from Sosu by Susan Jackson. I get these lashes from Pretty Little Thing, so I always restock on this one, particularly Katie. I'm addicted to it, man. I love it. I'm gonna put them on and then we're gonna be right back. I don't know what that was, ew. My lashes are on, I think. Tell me. They on? Okay, enough of that. So, my lashes are on. 
And I forgot to tell you guys what kind of glue I use when I apply my lashes. I use the Duo. I don't know the brand. What's the I think the brand is Duo. I use the Duo lash glue, but I use it in Claire. And then the last step, and then we can answer some more questions freely before, in, like without interruption. The last step is highlight. And for highlight, I normally take a highlight from the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil, the Freestyle Highlighter Palette. And this is how it looks. For my everyday, I normally choose between this or this if I'm going for like more goldish look or if I'm going for like a more skin tone look I take this one see and for my lips I normally use any one of my Fenty beauty lip glasses I have like a lot of the mini ones so I have like a ton of colors I think I want to use this one this is hot chocolate yeah and that's my everyday makeup look um if i use lashes <laughs> but this is my everyday makeup look and uh, i feel cute i feel i don't feel like if i have on a ton of makeup i just feel like i look less dead than i started off the video okay so with that out of the way we can continue with the questions. How would you feel if they cancel Carnival this year again? Okay, so I got a few choice words for the persons who came to St. Vincent and broke quarantine. Because did you screw everybody over? Yes. I mean, think about it. How would you feel if like you've been living sort of freely because there were still protocols in place anywhere you go? Imagine having to change all of that again just because somebody wants to be selfish and go and celebrate Like go to bars and what's not and try to go to parties or being selfish and seeing persons in quarantine and actually going into the room, etc Exposing and risking others safety for your selfish needs. Anyway So on to the question Would I be upset if they cancel the carnival again this year? Not gonna lie, it was very upsetting when they cancelled Carnival last year, especially after the fact that there was a million other things end of year that caused crowds, which means we could have had our Carnival. But what can you do really if they have to cancel it again this year? Nothing. We're all in good spirits and we're all hoping that we can get through this year again within the next few months. If so, I just think they should limit the um, amount of people they allow into the country for carnival. If we suppose you have another one this year, if they can't do it, well, nothing more you can say or nothing more you can do. But I think if we need to have carnival with locals alone, I think we would have a good time. We do not need the foreigners. Not saying y'all are not welcome. Do not put those words in my mouth. But if we have this theory that we need the foreigners and we need the outside persons to make our carnival carnival, then I think that that reason alone would be why they would cancel carnival again. Make your own country happy, make your own citizens happy, then I think we can afford to have carnival safely, safely, if everything cools down. Can't have any other um, feelings other than hurt. Next question. Have you ever been in a fight? No. <laughs> Let me tell you all this. No, technically, technically no. Um, me and my friend, my friend in grade six technically did, but I'm not gonna call it a fight because she was just like trying to call me some names and I wasn't having it. So we kind of had it out, but I've never been in a fight. Um, I like myself too much to wanna damage this face and I hate getting injuries and what's not so no no I've not been in a fight and I just want to say um, persons who go in social media fights or go picking social media fights because that comes as a fight uh, you're tacky you like why what are you getting out of it what are you getting out of it 
Anyway, what inspired you to start a gaming channel? So I said it a little bit earlier in this video. What inspired me is that oh, I I I just like playing certain games like Sims and what's not and I was like I have all these stories on my Sims so I can't I just like create a channel and I actually like share it with persons. But I would also like it to be entertaining and interesting so that persons can uh, suggest that I try play new games because I do like to try new games. Might not stick with me, but like trying it is like you know what's the harm in it. And I also wanted to do reactions, but I don't think reactions on my main channel would be soothing. So I was like, well, it's also there. The second channel is basically there for reactions and gaming. So out of all the places that you've traveled to, where do you? What's your favorite and why? I would have to say Dubai. It wasn't on the top of my list to travel there but it was more mainstream location and it definitely was an experience to remember if you guys have known me back then I went to Dubai there's a vlog on my channel and uh, the experiences the pictures the people it's like really nice and I would suggest when all of this cooled down and when Corona is a thing of the past, you definitely try and go there. Although there's a lot of questions, I think that's all we can do for now, for today. Maybe I would do a lot more of these questions in, you know, getting ready. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, share with your friends. And follow my gaming channel, gaming slash react channel and follow this channel and i'm going to be linking all the videos that i pointed out in this video this question in like up here down there everywhere <laughs> but i hope that i have time to actually do a lot of the content that you guys suggested i'm very excited to do most of them but it's just time because remember i'm working now so some things I can't do at night. That's why the reaction channel and the gaming channel is better for me because I could set up all of these things at night time and do it. So I really hope that I do have time and I really hope that this cool stone, like a lot of video ideas that such, like involve me being a wrong person very often and I do not want to do that if it is not safe out there. I only do it when it's safe. Otherwise, no. So, without further ado, until next time, bye.